This is your ESPN Alamogordo Tiger Athlete of the Week Spotlight, brought to you by the Winner Circle and Vision Ford Lincoln. This week's athlete is Brett Money of Tiger Football. Unfortunately, the Tiger Football season has come to a close, but uh, what a fun year. What was it like to, to be around the team those last few weeks, beating Artesia, beating San Teresa? Was that, was that special for the whole team? It, it was awesome, man. It, just, it finally felt like we came together, and we, we finally got a team where we, we were playing good for four quarters, so we finally got that win that we really needed, and I think that Artesia win really kind of set things off for the postseason and just kind of going in from there. And, of course, you had an amazing moment in the, the Santa Teresa game. What, what was going through your mind? You know, I talked to Coach, and he was like, yeah, he was cool as a cucumber. Were you <laughs> were you that way on the outside, maybe not as much on the inside? or I, I was definitely nervous, but <laughs> I've, I've been waiting for that for my whole life. So, I mean, definitely big thanks to Max and Aaron for holding and snapping and definitely couldn't have done it without them. They got me in the position to where I could win the game, so they, they grinded the whole game and let me win the game for them. So. What was the challenge of, of mixing you know football and soccer over the last few years? I mean, that's, that's obviously playing two sports in the same season is always tough. I mean, thankfully, you know, soccer is usually not playing on Friday nights, but that's, that's a lot of hard work and a lot of practice time for you. Right? Yeah, for sure. It's definitely more of trying not to get hurt this year because, I mean, with my knee injury last year and just trying to maintain my just not – not being injured the whole time so i mean definitely had to limit reps and just make sure i'm not overdoing anything and it was it was kind of a challenge until soccer ended unfortunately soccer ended early this year but once that ended then i could kind of get in back into working out and just kind of getting more into the kicking mindset uh, you know i don't think i've ever asked you this before i mean what, what got you started in, in kicking football i mean was it your dad was it somebody else or oh uh, well we were at a peewee practice for i think i was seven at the time and at the time they had field goals were worth two points for extra points so we're just like well i mean i play soccer so why not why can't i kick the ball through the uprights and the first time i just happened to make it so i just kind of ever since then been getting more and more into kicking and just thinking like maybe i could do this in college and stuff and try to go from there so now speaking of college we know you've already gotten a couple of offers already have you started to narrow things down or still uh making a decision on what you want to do after high um, school yeah definitely got two schools right now so hopefully get a few more and then just kind of see from there but i definitely have a good idea of kind of what the school i kind of want and just kind of i'm just waiting to see what happens this december and we'll kind of make decision from there so. okay have you figured out what you want to study in college? You got an idea of what you're heading for there? Or? Uh, I want to study sports management, so just more kind of like business management and then with an emphasis on sports management. You know, when you look back on, and maybe not even just Tiger football, but Tiger soccer, your Tiger sports career, what, what what's going to be the thing you think you remember the most about being involved with Tiger sports? Uh, it was definitely the time spent with all our teammates, man. We, we grinded all summer. It wasn't just the 10 games we got to play together. It was more of the off-season, the post-season, the just – for football, we're up at 6 in the morning practicing and lifting, and we're there after school watching film. And with soccer, we have all those preseason workouts two times a day and then mixed in with football. So, I mean, just basically all that time spent together. It was just a really good memory, I think, to right. hold on forever. All right. Well, congratulations on being athlete of the week. Thank you.